Hello and welcome to a redo of my, well, a past tutorial. Basically, I'm not sure if I actually went through in full detail how to make a cutscene properly. So what I'm going to do today is I've set you one up and I'm going to play it now. And basically I'm just going to save the, I'm going to export the script and then I'm going to give it to you guys to mull about with and get rid of all the stuff that you don't need. So for mine it's raining and the guy's gonna go inside, wait for it to stop raining, come back outside and then be like, oh yay. So there we go, press enter and it runs the script. Goes back in, that's better, I'll wait for it to stop, press enter, runs the script, takes a few seconds, stops the rain eventually there we go waits goes back out and then it says oh yeah that's better you can quit the game or you can replay scene it just does it again I'm not gonna have the replay scene because it's not that well that it doesn't work that well but you don't I don't know if you want the replay scene just let me know and I'll upload the replay scene version and then it says, oh, that's better. And then it quits. So, yeah, the script all works in the map properties. So whenever you download it, you just go, you make a new map, or you go into the map that you're going to do. You go to map, properties, edit script, script, import, and then it'll give this. As I said, I'm not going to give you the replay. So I'm just going to shorten this and get rid of all them. Come down here, we don't need that. And there's no replay. There we go. Uh the failed messages is if if right, so basically how it works, I'm gonna have to go through this otherwise you can't edit it yourself. So when you get it, it's going to go into the level. If you don't want your play to be seen, leave this in. If you do, delete it or just click on main existent and it'll make your main character existent again. Um recommended that you don't have that but it's it depends where in the game you're having your cutscene. If you if you're doing it as the main one then you don't want to be seen. You don't want your character to be seen. But if you later on in the game and you're trying to move your main character then obviously you're gonna want him to be seen so you don't want that in there. Message box, you change this to whatever you want it to say first. If you don't want it to say anything first, you just delete. Um, after it says that, it's going to walk to location. Now, this is a better way from my last one where I, where I pretty much changed the route. This will literally come up with a map. You select the NPC that you want it to move. And you click onto the map. And then you can place wherever you want him to go. I just put some there. I just put him there. And change the direction to whatever direction he's going to be walking. Mine was just simply up. So that's that's pretty much what that is. The wait for movement. Oh, well done. Let me go through this. So basically, if it was unable to walk, like if it was trying to walk through a wall, it's not going to be able to walk through a wall. So it's going to come out as failed. So, and then it'll quit the game. So yeah, it's just it's just pretty much back up. You don't want you don't want to just like, just like be waiting there forever, wondering why it's not doing anything. Uh, the way for movement on this side is if it will if it was able to walk, you don't want it to run this as soon as he's still in motion. So this will wait for him to stop. After he stopped, this message box will appear. And it'll say, that's better. And then it'll wait. It's going to wait for three seconds. And then it's going to change this. If you're not, wait, this is where you need to take input. And take action, sorry, not input. What the hell. Um, whatever you're doing it on, you're going to need to change this. If you're doing it exactly the same as me, like you're waiting for the rain to stop, keep this the same. If not, delete. See what I mean? So this is seven seconds. 
because this is going to take five seconds and that's going to take two seconds supposedly so I've just put it at seven and then it's going to walk again back outside it's going to wait if it fails again it's going to come up as failed and quit the game if it doesn't fail it's going to wait and then it's going to say ah oh, that's better and quit the game so this is what I'm going to do now I'm going to export and I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call the script and cutscene so that script is now go away go away there we go that scene that that script is now saved under the name of cutscene so you know that it's my file and no one else's um that's pretty much that's pretty much it um if you want uh, I'm not sure if you're actually going to want me to go behind the scenes on this stuff I've pretty much told you how to do it um you can learn from it yourself as well rather than just dwelling try and learn from what I've created for you um otherwise you're just taking it and being like haha I'm a game creator I made the script woohoo uh yeah you don't need to yeah, and copyright reasons, you don't need to copyright me in anything, I don't care, you, you, you can even call it your own script, I, don't, I really don't care, just um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you can use it in whatever, commercial or non-commercial, so long as you're using the subscriber version, you can do commercial games that way, uh, it's pretty cheap, just 10 quid and you get to sell your games for money, it's pretty good. Depends how good you are with the engine, really. If you can create a good game, then you're going to get your 10 quid back. Or however much it is in other countries. I don't know. It's 10 pounds for me. Um, you only have to pay once as well. You can stop the subscription after that, but like pretty much I did. But um, that was because I ran out of money. Sadly. Horrible day. Actually, I can't say that because it might be a nice day. By the time you're watching it, uh, I'm blabbering, aren't I? Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna click OK and click OK again. That's it. So tutorial series on the main project will continue soon. I'm currently packed with revision stuff like that. I'm doing my exams next week. Starts on the twelfth. Oh god. Um so yeah I'm gonna be revising pretty hard for them. Thank god it's the only the the only exams I'm ever gonna have to do apart from college and university. Hopefully university, I should add. But uh yeah. So that's pretty much a quick update as well. Why I'm not uploading that much on the channel revising. Blame it on the school. Blame it on life. I don't I don't know. Just blame it. Don't don't blame me. Um, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're feeling generous. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to be uploading all through summer. So yeah, it's going to be going to be pretty good. Water, no, there's water. Everyone likes water. Uh, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Bye.